little blip that you've got on the end of the spout there, that you find that's enough just to, to make it not drip? I, I think so. Uh, you could try it with that one if you want. I believe you know. No, I, I, I go ahead and try it. I, I don't know. <laughs> People ask me, they say, you know, does it drip? And I say, I guarantee it that it will. <laughs> <laughs> because I says, most teapots do. It's just the odd one that doesn't. And you try, but it doesn't always work. Yeah, it's you know, true. So. Yeah. And you know what? They laugh and they buy it anyway. <laughs> so go figure. Maybe sometimes they compromise. I do find it like um, spot with really thin pieces, it yeah. tends to not. Drip, but then your chance of right, tripping, you know, yeah. chipping, you know, so I, I'd rather have it thicker yeah. and safer. Yeah. 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 It's a real yeah. test of your patience when yeah. somebody wants to buy a teapot. Yeah. 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 Yeah
stick it on and it's part of the way it looks. This guy I like to clean up because it gives it a little bit more elegance. It sort of looks more finished or whatever. Like I say, I, I get a lot of this from my customers because, you know, if they complain about something, I say, okay, well, I'll fix it. You know, and uh, I probably shouldn't, but I gotta eat. <laughs> and I've tried going without eating for a while, but uh, <laughs> it didn't work that well. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut this guy. So when you can look at it, you can see it's turned already to the side a little bit, okay? Yeah, okay. one more Quite time a bit. this way. Okay, it's just off yeah. a little bit, okay? So what I'll do is I'll just cut this guy like oh. that. Huh. And it should turn back. I'm not sure how straight this one is, but it's pretty straight. Yeah. I brought the straightest one that I can get. Well, you didn't finish off the inside at all. You don't have to do you that. You know what? I don't do anything. I just, I just paddle it on with one of these suckers, and, and it works. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. So uh, I made myself a tool. I'd be digging I've made teapots or even casseroles or whatever where I look at from the top down after I put the handles on. I think, wow, well, they're off to one side a bit much. Well, I found out that if I were to cut something in half, like that, the left half is always slightly longer. And if I turn it this way and go cut it, it'll, it'll still be longer. So I think somewhere in my left side isn't working properly or something. So I decided that I'd make myself this tool, and what I do is I just set it down on top. I have numbers up here, and I'm going by number eight. And this is where the handle is going to go. Okay. My handle starts fairly low. It works for casseroles, but when you get into bigger things, it's just like, oh darn, I gotta put something on there that, you know, I should have made it bigger, but that's okay. At the guild, we have a, one of these one of these very sensitive turntables, and if you put something down here, the floor in the guild slopes. <laughs> it goes from one end to the other. It's about three inches of a slope. Holy. And so when you put it down like this and go away, it goes like that. <laughs> <laughs> it turns around and stops. So you got to turn it down. Get ready, get ready, you know. <laughs> anyway, this is the handle. I pulled my handles earlier. It's a little soft. We have one here if you want one. No, it's okay. I think it'll be all right. Okay. It's not a real long handle, so it'll be stiff enough. And I don't pull them off the pots. I, you know, when I learned years ago, that's the way everybody wanted to do it, is to pull it. And then I started thinking, I didn't like the, just a rounded handle. I wanted a flatter handle, something that the thing wouldn't tip and so on. So I started pulling them separately and attaching them. And... I just got so used to it that I just do it. And it works for me. Uh, other people like pulled handles, and I like them too. I buy cups with pulled handles. <laughs> anyway, okay. opening, it's, it's usually uh, three and a quarter inches so I can get my hand inside. <laughs> no, it's true. Otherwise, you can't get in there and then you go to press this down and it doesn't want to stay down or it pushes a big bump inside your teapot and you think people are going to look in there and say, what the heck's that? And we're all afraid to be, you know, known as the lousy potter or whatever, aren't we? Don't we think we... We all worry about what the public thinks. Don't we? <laughs> <laughs>
You don't, because you got a job, right? <laughs> no, you know, uh, I tell I tell young people, I tell them, don't be, don't become a potter. Get, get a job, a good paying job, and then play around. You know, go take some pottery classes, make some.